Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step instructions to file a paid family leave claim if you are a dad in California. As we go through the steps, I'm also gonna answer some common questions or FAQs involving the process, like when you should expect payout, what documents you'll need, etc. This whole process, although it may seem daunting, is actually relatively easy. I completed my husband's claim in about 10 minutes. The only things that you'll really need are a form of identification, like a driver's license for yourself, and also a proof of birth. So that would be something like a birth certificate from the hospital or an official birth certificate for your baby. So to start off, you're gonna to go to the EDD website. If you just type in your Google browser, EDD login, that'll take you to the right site. Then you're gonna hit benefits login. If you haven't made a username and password already, you can go ahead and create an account. I have already created an account, so they are basically just re-verifying my identification via email throughout this process. If you haven't made an account, it's very simple. You basically just put in your first, last name, email address, and then after that, you'll, they'll verify your email and ask for your driver's license, social security number, and a couple other pieces of identification. Once you get into the portal, it'll look like this. Now this claim was filed in 2023, so this is what the new interface looks like. You're gonna want to click SDI online under the disability and paid family leave option. Then you're gonna click verify with ID me if you haven't done this already. This is gonna take you to a third party site that verifies your identity. And again, you're gonna need that driver's license or another form of identification. Mine was already, my husband's was already linked to this account, so I just needed to click to re-verify. It is going to ask you again to verify your identity. They have so many identity verification tests now on the EDD site. So that might take you a little bit of time to get through if you haven't had that set up. So first you're gonna hit new claim, then you're gonna hit paid family leave bonding. Once you hit that, you are not a mother, so you're gonna click no. Um, did you have a pregnancy? No. That's going to take you to the next page. So a lot of the questions I get asked are actually answered on this page right here. So it'll tell you what information you need before you start, like mailing address, the date that you stopped work, if you want to take all of your leave at one time. If you're not already aware, you do need to file your claim within a year of having your baby. And you do not need to take all your leave at the same time. So you could take, say, for example, four weeks when the baby is born and a, a an additional four weeks via a separate claim later on in the year. Other information that this page includes is documents that can be used to provide proof of relationship. So that would be a child's birth certificate, um, official letter from a foster agency, child's hospital birth certificate, etc. A lot of people on other videos that I have surrounding this say, do I need to wait for my birth certificate, my son or daughter's birth certificate to come in the mail? No, you don't need to wait. You can use a hospital birth certificate, which they should provide you during your hospital stay. The other thing it talks about is the benefit amount. Now they have a separate calculator for this, which I can link in the description, and you can put in the day you're planning on filing the claim, your last day work, and then it'll punch, you'll punch in the wages that you received for the relative periods, and then the calculator will spit out the weekly amount that you'll get while you're on paid family leave. So again, I'll link that in the description. The last thing that this document talks about is after you have filed your application. So it talks about how many days you should expect, um, it says the majority of claims are processed and payments are issued within 14 days, assuming your claim is completed correctly. So 14 days from the time you submit the claim to the time you receive payment. 
Now, the other important piece of information that this page talks about is eligibility requirements. So you cannot start your paid family leave claim until you have actually stopped working. You also need to have paid into SDI with at least $300 worth of wages within that base period. And there's a couple other qualifications they talk about as well, like the you need to file within a year of the child being born. Once you read through that, you are just going to go ahead and click to next. And then from there, it's just going to verify your personal information, which you've already entered. Then you're going to type in your employment information. So this is very simple info, the name of your employer, what your occupation is, um, may we disclose benefit amounts to your employer, um, the reason for stopping work, etc. Then you're going to enter the employer's mailing address and go on to the next step. So this section, you're gonna put in the last day you worked. Again, you won't be able to put in a future date. You need to have actually stopped working in order to file your claim. Um, then you need to put in the date that you want your claim to begin. If you want to take all eight weeks at once, which is question number three, I get asked that a lot. Do I need to take it all at once or can I take you know four weeks at one point in time and then four weeks later on? It also asks um, you know, when you plan to return to work, but that's not necessarily required. And um, will you receive any sort of payment while you are on paid family leave? Take your time filling in these questions because the last thing you want to do is have your claim stalled and have to refile or, God forbid, try to call into the EDD for support. So make sure you look at your calendar, double check, get all of your information and dates right so that your claim gets approved promptly and you get that payout as soon as possible. Section three and four are pretty simple. This is regarding your relationship to your child and information about your child. It does ask for their name, date of birth, and gender. Um, it also asks for the social security number if available, but it's not required that you put in that information. So if you're going on paid family leave right away and you don't have that social security number ready yet, don't um, worry about that. The last piece of information is section five, and that's proof of relationship. You can just take a picture of the proof of relationship and it gives all of the example documents that you can use. And then you're gonna go ahead and upload that file at the very end. Section eight and nine are just some sign-offs and how you would prefer your payment. I chose the check payment rather than the EDD debit card just because I wouldn't wanna risk that getting lost. And then they just ask you how you heard about paid family leave. Once you choose that, you're going to go ahead and submit your claim. You're going to get a confirmation number and a, um, which will be shown as the receipt number here. And then you're going to go ahead and upload that document of the proof of relationship with your baby. So I went ahead and took a photo of the birth certificate. I went ahead and uploaded it. Make sure your document is under five megabytes because mine wasn't and it was taking forever to load and I didn't realize why. So I X out of this and had to resubmit the document elsewhere. So just make sure that JPEG or image you're uploading is under five megabytes. Once you get that uploaded, um, you are all done. You can go to the SDI home page to back to the dashboard to check on the claim status and make sure to regularly check your email and also the inbox on this dashboard at the top to make sure that you're they're not requesting any additional information or that they don't have any questions on your claims. If they do have any questions, you want to make sure you get back to them as promptly as possible. 
And again, if your claim goes through and it gets approved, you should be receiving that payout within about 14 days. So if you have any questions on filing or the paid family leave claims in general, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.